All right, iOS 9 drops today, which means it's time to take a look at some of the big new features. There's not a ton of stuff happening this time around, but there is enough that makes it worth updating. The big Apple speak feature is proactivity in Siri, which in normal human speak means essentially that Siri is going to pay a little bit more attention to how you use iOS. Uh, it'll look for certain calendar events inside of your email. It'll pay attention to what apps you open at what times. It'll pay attention to who you tend to email at the same time. And it'll offer suggestions based on that. Not a huge update, but it'll be handy and we'll see how it works. It's hard to show off here, but you'll know it when you see it. Spotlight sees some big improvements as well. You, uh, when you open it up at first, you'll see a suggestion of the people you tend to contact the most, which apps you tend to open at certain times, as well as nearby places. Beyond that, you can now search for things like sports scores, the weather, and basically anything you can search for in OS X Spotlight, you can search for here. One of the new apps this time around is News, which is much like Flipboard or other news apps you might have used before. But you go through, you pick uh, some publications you're interested in, topics you're interested in, and it builds a little magazine for you so you can go through and read articles, displays them all in like a very simple view. Notes gets an overhaul this time around, which adds a bunch more features to it to make it more akin to something like Evernote. The big improvements are things like being able to turn notes into checklists, add photos to notes, and sketch out thoughts onto a notepad. Maps is seeing some improvements as well, the big one being public transit, which is only available in a handful of cities. But for the rest of us, we will see easy guides to finding local businesses by with just a couple taps. You can kind of see what's around you at any given moment. As for the iPad, it gets multitasking, which makes it a lot more usable for work. Newer iPad models will get a slide overview that works similar to Control Center. And the iPad Air 2 gets a dedicated side-by-side -side mode where you can run two apps at once. This time around, some of the small stuff that offers some of the better improvements. For example, now when you follow a link from one app to another, you can instantly jump back to the original app with just a tap in the top left hand corner. Settings also gets a new search menu so you can easily find different toggles and options for settings, which includes a new low power mode, which if you need to conserve battery power, you can instantly load up. Uh, likewise, something you've already probably noticed is a new shift key change. So whenever you tap the shift key, the characters on screen change to reflect which mode you're typing in. There's also a few new default apps alongside news, which include Find My Friends and Find My iPhone, which has been around for a while, but are now automatically included and stuck on your home screen. Finally, there's a new six digit passcode option. So if you are a fan of using more than those four digits or your own alphanumeric code, you can now just do a six digit code, which is great. Be sure to head over to LifeHacker for all your other iOS 9 coverage.